I had these old wood spindles. They came off of a staircase from a balcony, and I got them from a yard sale, and I'm going to paint two of them with some Wise Owl Black. Now, I decided to just do a darker color, as this is going to be an outdoor project. If it was something that was going to be inside, I would probably suggest priming it first and then painting it. Once I had them fully painted with the black, I'm going to take some Wise Owl Higgins Lake and just dry brush it on top of the black, leaving some of the black to peek through. And I'm going to repeat the same exact thing using the Wise Owl Goldenrod. Now, of course, you could pick any color of your choice. I went darker on my base coat and then picked a nice, bright, fun summer color on the top coat. Next, I have these plastic dishes. They both came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take the egg one and put a piece of tape in the center and my drill gun and very slowly drill through the plastic. And if you lay this tape down, it prevents it from cracking. I'm then also going to drill a hole in the flat part of my spindle. I'm gonna put a screw through the top of the plastic egg holder and I'm going to screw it into my pre-drilled hole. And then very slowly, you're going to screw in your screw. Now you don't wanna tighten it too much as you will crack the plastic, but you just wanna tighten it enough so that it doesn't fall off. I have this rub-on transfer, it came from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm going to put it on my plastic bowl. Now if you have a glass bowl, that would work too even a glass base, but I'm working with what I have and I think it worked just fine. You're going to rub the transfer onto the plastic. And I love this pattern. They have a variety of different rub-on transfers that you could find in the sticker section at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to piece the transfer on the bowl, just filling in any areas that were empty or bare and because this is a nice slick surface you just rub a little bit and the transfer will adhere nicely to the plastic I'm going to take some super glue and put it on the bottom of my bowl and then I also have a little bit of hot glue for that instant hold and I'm going to glue that on top of my egg holder in the center and I'm going to set that aside for now. Now for my second spindle, I'm going to paint this birdhouse black. It had some pre-printed images so you could color it in. So I just painted the entire thing black. And then once that's dry, I'm going to paint on top of it with the Wise Owl Ivory. Now the point in doing the black underneath is again just to cover up that pre-printed image nicely. And I want it mostly to be the ivory color, but I am okay with some of that black peeking through. Once that is fully dry, I'm going to take some Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear and top coat my birdhouse. I just want a nice top coat on this prior to my next step. And you want to make sure all the paint is fully dry. Once that dried, I then took the same transfer we used on our plastic bowl, and I'm just cutting a few pieces to just decorate the front of my birdhouse. You just cut out the piece you want, remove the protective backing from the back side, lay your transfer down on your surface, and rub with this tool. And I just picked three small little images to just decorate the front of the birdhouse. You can even add some on the roof if you would like to. And then I'm going to take some hot glue. You can also add a little bit of wood glue and glue my birdhouse onto the flat part of my second spindle. And then there you go. I really like how these came out. I filled the bird feeder with some bird feed and water and then you could just stick these in your garden thank you so much for watching paint products tissue paper transfers and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com and don't forget you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage have a great day